Hi, it's Caitlin and I'm here today with a collection inspired by women in music and it's beautiful and I obviously love the concept. So this is the Women in Music Part 3 collection from Kathleen & Co. It features six new polishes in a variety of finishes, which is my favorite kind of collection because, you know, I like to switch it up. I like some shimmer, I like some hollow. It's always fun to have a variety. And these will be available starting August 18th on the Kathleen & Co website and some of her stockists will also be carrying this collection. I will link the Kathleen & Co website down below. And I guess we should just get into the polishes because like I said, they are super pretty. First up is California Soul. And this one is a tribute to Marlena Shaw. And this one is described as a soft salmon with glowy pink shimmer and this one is like a beautiful sunset on your nails it is definitely on the sheer side but it builds up pretty nicely in three coats it has such a beautiful soft finish and i've said it before if you've watched my kathleen and co videos i absolutely love the velvety plushness of the kathleen and co formula and I love their short rounded brush. It gives you really great control when you're applying the polish and it's just a pleasure to paint with. So here is the third coat. As you can see it definitely builds up in three and there is a ton of shimmer and shift in this polish so it'll distract from any visible nail line that might be peeking out. It does dry down just a tiny bit dull so definitely use a glossy top coat as always I'm using the cuticula limitless top coat and this polish is honestly stunning it's a beautiful tribute to an incredibly talented artist and this polish makes me want to hop on a plane to California right away I love that extreme angle where you get the orange shift it's like a really vibrant pink even out of direct light this is honestly so pretty and i i'm just loving these peachy orangey pinky shades that we've seen a few times so far this year and i think this is one of the best i've seen to date next we have killing me softly with his song and this one's inspired by roberta flack and another incredible artist. This one is described as a pale indigo with shifting shimmer. To me, this pretty much looks like a pastel purple lilac shade. Um, and it has a really beautiful finely milled shimmer that is kind of pearlescent. And I'm gonna try to show it off as best as possible, but this one is honestly so beautiful. I couldn't totally do it justice, but I have nothing like this in my collection. It is super unique. As you can see, depending on how thick or thin you paint the polish, you might need one, sorry, two coats or three coats. On my index, I was good with two thicker coats, but on my middle finger, I needed to go in with a third coat. So this also dries pretty shiny, but I will recommend a glossy top coat again, as always. And this polish, you can probably already sort of see that it has a pink shift at the more extreme angles. And honestly, it is so, so beautiful. It does have a beautiful softness, which I think is a great choice for the song inspiration and the polish itself so here you can see there's a ton of pink shifts it's pearly but it's also almost a bit metallic-y there's even sort of like orange or red at certain angles that you can see and this one just kept surprising me with how beautiful and shifty it was I was super super impressed and like I said it's totally unique in my collection Moving along, we have a beautiful green. This one is Think, inspired by Aretha Franklin. 
and this one is described just as a glowy green shimmer polish which it is so much more than that um so this one again starts out very sheer but it will build up however it still has an overall sheer soft look to it and the shimmer particle in this one is a bit bigger compared to the previous polishes we've seen which adds a beautiful sparkle to this polish there's no hollow or glitter in it but it is incredibly twinkly and sparkly because of the larger shimmer particle size in this one as you're going to see you get shifts of gold and sort of pink a little bit of orange and of course more intense shades of green depending on the angle and this one dries pretty shiny but of course i will still recommend top coat this is another polish um it's in that family of polishes where it's thin enough and sheer enough you could use it as a topper over a black for a different effect or over a green or a gold but I, of course, really like it on its own. It's got a bit of a ghostly quality to it. And hopefully you can see what I mean about the extreme angles. You get sort of a bluey, greeny, ghostly glow to it, which is absolutely beautiful. And then out of direct light, you can see that foily shimmer. It's just really sparkly and pretty. And this one definitely, as I said, has a ghostly quality to it. And I am... 100% here for it. I really like this one. Next up we have What's Love Got to Do With It? inspired by the incredible Miss Tina Turner. And this polish is described as a bright red jelly base with blue shimmer and hollow flakes. So maybe technically it's a red base, but with everything in it it is definitely showing up to me as a bright pink maybe leaning over into the fuchsia category and it has that blue shimmer that so many of us have been loving lately and of course hollow flakes which i always love to see this one has a bit more of an opaque formula in comparison to some of the previous polishes you might be good with it in two i'm leaving it at two you might want three but at any rate it builds up beautifully and easily and as you're going to see shortly it is incredibly shimmery and shifty so when you're wearing this one it kind of does look a bit more red here but to my eyes at least when i was wearing it it appeared more of a pink but it is a very bright pink and I didn't experience any staining with this polish I've never experienced staining with the Kathleen and Co formula so shouldn't be a problem this one as you can see has that super strong blue glow to it which I absolutely love and the hollow flakes whether or not you have sun just add a really pretty twinkle to the polish which I always appreciate Here we have Skyfall, which is inspired by Adele. I honestly love all the artists in this video, or in this collection, that were the inspiration for this collection. And this one is described as a turquoise with hollow flakes and a hefty dose of glowy blue shimmer. So this one starts off very sheer, but it will build up nicely. This one, to me, more than turquoise, it appeared like a bright blue on my nails and with my skin tone. And this one has that really glowy shimmer in it, just like the previous polish, but it looks a bit different because it sort of integrates in with the base color, which is fun. And of course, the hollow flakes just add an element of sparkle that is always welcome. This one, the finish came off a bit um, metallic-y, which is also fun. I love a variety of finishes in a collection. 
so this one I will recommend a glossy top coat and that will just help make it as glossy and sparkly looking as possible and I did build this one up in three coats I used really thin coats so if you go thin you're gonna have to build it up in three and here you can see what I mean the glowy blue shimmer pretty much matches the base color of the polish so it just creates that creates creates this wonderful depth to the polish that is really beautiful I don't have a lot of blues exactly like this and it's just a really nice sort of oceanic polish and last but not least we have back to black inspired by the incomparable amy winehouse who i will never stop listening to the back to black album is probably one of my favorites of all time and i have to thank my dad for that because he bought it and i remember listening to it with him in his car what was that like 20 no 2006 maybe anyway this polish is a dark charcoal scattered hollow with fuchsia shifting shimmer so this one overall appears as sort of a deep chocolatey blackened base and then the shimmer to me looks mostly red um, in the polish and of course you've got the scattered hollow in there which just adds a gorgeous rainbowy effect which is quite obvious and it almost looked like there were little red glitters in there I don't know if there were it could just be the shimmer particle size but it's super sparkly not difficult to remove I didn't experience any staining and this one covered for me in two coats obviously my nails are very short but you should be able to get away with two potentially three if you go with really thin layers and hopefully you can see what I mean about the hollow in this one it's super rainbowy and here you can see what I mean about it appearing mostly brown and the shimmer is sort of red and also brown and then you get it green at extreme angles and gold so this one is also super shifty and shimmery and perfect for the fall I love polishes like this and I think it's a beautiful tribute to Amy Winehouse And I can't stop watching this one because it is really beautiful. Of these six polishes, I think that four are kind of must-haves in my opinion. They are so stunning. So I'll just quickly run through my picks. First of all, what's love got to do with it? Tina Turner, like an icon and a legend. And she's incredible. And this polish is just so vibrant and pretty and pink and it has blue shimmer which I won't shut up about so I don't think you should miss that especially if you like pinks. I also think Think is stunning. I love greens like that. That one is so shifty. It's also very sheer. It has a beautiful formula. It's inspired by Aretha Franklin. It's amazing. And then we have California Soul, which is just like the prettiest peachy orangey sunset nail polish ever. Again, love the formula, love the shifts in it, love the finish. And I wanted to give a shout out to Killing Me Softly with his song. I just think that finish is so unique. I don't often see like a pearly kind of purple like that. It's really beautiful. The shifts in it are just so pretty and I love the shade of purple so I love it I love I love all of them what can I say so let me know in the comments if you are excited by this collection if you're planning on picking anything up let me know if you have a favorite woman in music um I love all of the artists that were the inspiration for this collection so if you're a fan of those artists maybe you should pick up the polishes let me know and I guess that's it for me. Have a great day wherever you are and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye!